Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw my Draw So Cute spaghetti and meatballs. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing our two big meatballs. So right here, I'm going to be drawing this circle, but the lines are going to not be smooth. They're just going to be a little bit wobbly because they're meatballs. So I'm going to come back right here and I'm just going to wobble my lines randomly here and there. Sometimes a little bit bigger come in sometimes smaller like that so nothing uh, too with too much um, nothing too hard <laughs> just go in and uh, just draw this little round shape that's kind of all wobbly and so then right here we're gonna draw another one so this meatball I know is a little bit lower so I'm gonna come about right here I'm gonna draw another one so same thing just randomly However you like it, just imagine your own little meatball, so there. So from there, we're going to start to draw the sauce. So I know the sauce goes around them right here. So because I'm using a Sharpie, if you're using a pencil, you would just draw this nice curve right through them. Because I'm using a Sharpie, I'm just going to go around them. And so I'm going to start, let's say about right here, and I'm going to start to draw the sauce. So once again, the sauce is not smooth. So I'm just going to kind of wobble my curve a little bit. And I'm going to imagine it being overlapped by this meatball. I'm going to come around. And it's going to keep going. And so I'm just going to wobble my line a little bit. And I'm going to come across just so I kind of know, gauge where my curve is going. And just end about right there. So it <laughs> looks, like, looks like we could turn this into a little uh, monster. <laughs> and so from there, let's go in and draw the sauce. So I'm going to come in here and, and start to drizzle my sauce all the way across. So nothing, um, just however, nothing too detailed, just however you like it. So you don't have to follow exactly my drizzle, but I'm just going to go around and then bring it around right here and connect it. So that's my spaghetti sauce on top. And so then our next layer is the noodle. So with a smooth curve, we're going to continue this curve down on both sides. So I guess like we could be like building a uh, ice cream right here. <laughs> and um, so then from there, so we ended about the same height on the other side. So from there, let's draw our bowl. So I'm going to come about right here on both sides and I'm going to start to draw this really huge curve that goes all the way across so let's see if I can go all the way across there so we're starting to draw a bowl and then let's come in here with a curve on the right here just so it looks like the bowl is holding the noodle so same thing on the other side and then right here, we're going to bring it out. So we're going to curve it down on both sides. And then just finish it off with a nice round bottom. I hope my bowl is not too lopsided. <laughs> it gets really hard to draw when the bowls are huge. <laughs> So there, <laughs> my bowl of ice cream. <laughs> now they were drawing spaghetti. <laughs> okay, so then from there, we got our bowl in. Now let's go in and bring in all the details to bring this whole drawing to life. So our meatball number one here is chilling, uh, relaxing in his sauce. <laughs> I know this is all really silly. I don't know how to come up with these things, but uh, <laughs> so this guy, his eyes are gonna be kind of close because he's relaxing so I'm going to draw two curves right here at an angle and I'm going to give him a cute little smile of course because he's really happy and then on top right here I'm just going to draw two curved lines just to anchor his eyes and then right here draw his legs so his legs come down on both just the little two curves you can draw a little curve right there so where the legs come from because he is a meatball and um, some curved lines right here just to make it 
look like it's a nice big piece of meatball. So then from there, his legs are in here. So I'm not showing his legs because his legs are nice and deep in the sauce. <laughs> so I'm gonna come up here and just draw a curve on both sides. So it looks like his legs are, his feet are inside the sauce. And then from there, we're gonna pop his hand out because his hand's behind his uh, head. So we're coming about right here and we're gonna draw a curve that goes around. So once again, you can draw a line. And then from here on this side, so just go across and pop out another curve that goes around. So popped out that one a little too much, but that's the idea. So that it looks like it's going around his head and he's chilling. <laughs> and then here you can just um, draw a curve so it looks like he's inside the sauce. And for, let's bring this guy to life now. So this guy, we're going to draw his two little eyes. I'm just making them black. And then curve right here, the top to anchor his eye. So this guy, for some reason, decided he wants to eat some of the noodles. <laughs> so right here in the center, I'm gonna draw the noodle. So I'm gonna draw a curve and I'm going to start to draw my strand of noodle. So I'm just gonna bring it down. And it's a strand of noodle that's tucked under the sauce. So I'm just gonna kind of follow my strand, my curve like that and then let's bring his hands so his hands are going to come about right here at the same angle and he's going to wrap one hand so thicken this end right here the other hand right here and thicken it up and so then just draw a little curve right there because meatballs are not smooth they have all these bumps and ridges so and um, so then let's draw his feet. So this foot right here is coming out from the bottom. So he's sitting down and there. <laughs> and then once again, just draw a little curve out here. So it looks like they're sitting down. And so then let's go in and um, you can draw some little chunks, little circles here and there, little curves, just to give this sauce some um, volume and so then we got our meatballs in let's draw our um, noodles oh but before I do that let's just draw some little curves uh, ovals right there just to indicate that the sauce is kind of spilling over here and there and then let's draw the noodles so an easy way to draw noodles just to make it look like it's indication of noodle instead of all those um, complicated curves I found that you can just come in here, draw these random curves. So just start with one, like maybe there. You don't have to follow exactly my curves, but our point is we just want to draw here and there different um, strands of noodle going in different directions. So let's say we put it in all those curves. So then we come in here and we fill it in. So like this one, we're going to follow this curve. So depending on how thick your noodles are, you just come in here. And so this one's gonna follow this curve. So I'm gonna come in really quickly. So this doesn't take forever. <laughs> and so this is gonna follow this curve. I'm a chunky sauce eating spaghetti person. <laughs> I like my sauce nice and chunky. <laughs> And so um, this one right here, we could go this way. Let's see, go this way right here, just to mix it up. And so then this one would go this way. So I hope you get the idea of what I'm doing right here. So in that way, it's just kind of, it's a simpler way of making it look like there's just strands of noodle in there. Of course, it's very, it looks very packed in, but it's better than trying to draw all these uh, squiggly curves everywhere and trying to make them look like noodles. So finally, let's finish it right here. And we're done. And so then, um, before we're done with the noodles, I wanted to bring, um, so that it doesn't look like the noodles are just stuffed in here. I wanted to make it really cute. So I'm gonna come out here and pop out a strand of noodle that's hanging out of the bowl. So um, I'm gonna come with a curve bring it down 
overlap it back up. So I'm gonna go in there and erase that soon so you'll see it better. But then, um, so then the same thing here. I'm gonna come follow my curve. So that's one strand there that's just overlapping over the bowl. And uh, you could put another one here. So I'm just gonna stick one out, curve it out. Just a little strand that got away. <laughs> So I would go in there and erase that later. And so then from there, let's bring this bow to life. So two draw, so cute eyes right in the center. So here we're gonna draw a big old circle and go across, draw another circle. And bring these two draw, so cute eyes to life. So two small circles at an angle and curved line at the bottom. So I want to thank you guys so much, Drossa Q fans, for um, all your love for all my food drawings. <laughs> I really enjoy them so much because I get to be so creative and come up with different silly um, ways to bring these silly food to life. <laughs> so I hope you've been really enjoying them too. So curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. and the lines at the bottom. And so I come up here and just draw a little curve on both sides just to anchor the eye. And of course, a cute little smile right in the center and cap it off. And you can just draw a little curve right there. So there, my spaghetti and meatballs. I hope you um, enjoyed this silly drawing and it brought a smile to your day. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe so you won't miss any new Drastic Cute videos. See you later.